back to Bottles, Boobs, and Feeding Tubes. It's me, MPT, your partner from Bump to Baby and Beyond. Today, we're gonna to talk about the differences between postpartum anxiety and depression. You may have heard of anxiety and depression, but what is postpartum anxiety and depression? Most of these symptoms occur after childbirth. Postpartum anxiety is defined by excessive worrying, nervousness, and sometimes fear, a lot of fear. Moms who experience postpartum anxiety tend to have a lot of intrusive thoughts of things that might hurt their baby. I don't wanna go upstairs because I might drop my baby. Just thoughts that you might actually do something to harm your baby, knowing that you wouldn't do it. But it's those thoughts that are creeping in. Maybe you're concerned about them sleeping at night, so you're constantly checking in on them, thinking that they're not breathing, so you're not sleeping, not doing tasks like showering because you fear you won't hear the baby crying and it's not just oh you don't want to take a shower this one time and you don't hear the baby crying it's a constant excessive worrying that impacts your overall health and well-being postpartum anxiety usually starts after childbirth but if you have pre-existing anxiety you could notice symptoms before childbirth as well. Some of the risk factors would be if you have pre-existing mental health conditions, increased stress, not getting enough sleep, pre-existing medical conditions, as well as like a traumatic birth experience. If you had an experience while you were pregnant or after that caused you to have some trauma, that could lead to postpartum anxiety. Now, what is postpartum depression? That is usually a severe form of sadness that occurs after you have a baby. Mostly sadness, depressed mood, not having any interest in activities. You could feel more tired, so lacking a lot of energy, not really doing the social things that you would normally have done before having a baby. Some moms notice they have trouble bonding with their baby during postpartum depression. And in extreme cases, thoughts of hurting yourself or others or the baby. This typically begins several weeks after having your baby. Some risk factors for postpartum depression would be stress, hormonal changes after delivering. There's a lot of shifts in our hormones after we have a baby, so that could lead to some depression. Feeling guilty of some sort, if you've had a traumatic birth experience, that could also lead to depression. Some of the key differences, like if you're just like, am I depressed or am I anxious? Key differences between depression, anxiety, postpartum, Anxiety would have intrusive thoughts, excessive worrying, where depression is more sadness. Anxiety, you would have inability to rest or relax, or you just are very wound up. Where depression is, you might be sleeping too much or just always tired. Some physical symptoms differentiating anxiety and depression would be like feeling anxious, your heart might be racing, just not being able to relax. Depression, you may notice changing appetite, fatigue, resting too much, not being motivated to do your normal tasks. If you notice any of these symptoms, it's definitely encouraged that you speak with your medical professional, your OBGYN, you can talk with your midwife, you can reach out to a primary care provider, you can do therapy with a therapist, you can also reach out to a psychiatrist, psychologist, anyone that is well-versed in perinatal mental health, understands that mood disorders during pregnancy and postpartum are common and can be treated. Treatment for postpartum anxiety would be medication, you can do therapy, you can also learn relaxation techniques, meditation, yoga, anything that will help kind of calm that nervous system. Whereas treatment for postpartum depression would also be another form of therapy. There's medications that you can take for postpartum depression. Leaning in on your family as support, sharing how you're feeling with your partner, friends, family. A lot of times women will experience postpartum depression, anxiety alone and not sharing their feelings because of fear of someone judging them or extreme cases, some people think that they might lose their baby if they express these feelings or concerns. So lean in on family, friends, seek help 
Other ways to help treat your anxiety, depression is physical activity, lifestyle modifications, nutrition, making sure you're getting enough food. Sometimes we're not eating enough, taking care of ourselves, staying hydrated. So those are some of the things that you can do to help treat postpartum depression and anxiety. But first and foremost, make sure you get help. If you know anyone that has experienced postpartum depression, anxiety, leave a comment below on how they managed it. If they managed it successfully, what are some tips that you would provide someone who has experienced postpartum depression or anxiety? Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching this video on postpartum depression, anxiety, perinatal mood, and anxiety disorders. Mm -hmm.